Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, of course this is the quick look at the latest build of what is the April 2019 update or 19H1. Um, as you see here the uh, Windows version number is stated at 1903. So we are really getting closer and closer. No watermark. Second build in a row with no watermark on the bottom right. Also meaning that we are now getting closer to what eventually will be RTM or the official release for uh, insiders first, of course. And um, I would guess this will happen in the next week or two. Uh, 1903 means it has to be completed by the end of this month, at least. Now, the install went well, um, got no problems. The build itself seems to work really, really well. I have pretty much no issues. There are some known issues still, so it's not time to get off. We're still in the uh, testing phase. There's still a few little things, including that famous green screen bug check for people that use games that have anti-cheat software. Um, and there, you know, there's still lingering um, problems that have been there for quite a long time, and it seems to be complicated to fix or I don't know, but there's a lot of bug fixes also. Not really any new features, but there is something new. If you are on a pro or enterprise version, of Windows 10 and you use the Windows Security Application Guard with Microsoft Edge. They uh, have released Application Guard extensions for Google Chrome and for Firefox. So you can now have Application Guard on these two browsers, not just with Microsoft Edge. And I guess it is important that this should happen as Microsoft Edge uh, Chromium will soon appear and of course it needs to have the application guard working so I guess that's where the extensions come in handy on both Firefox and uh, Google Chrome also and you know let's face it everybody's using Google Chrome or a big big chunk of you out there so it's really that place and where it you know you need it um, apart from that of course like I said no new features really what are some of the features we're going to talk about today a little bit um, we're going to jump here and there into certain little things that I want to talk about. Um, first of all, you now will have uh, some new features. So in settings, they've, of course, worked through some of the new settings and new stuff in there. And when we look at some of those settings, one of them is on the um, connectivity. So everything that has to do with network and internet you now can actually change a lot more of your properties. So now when you go to the settings here, not only do you have all the details of your connectivity, but you can actually uh, change these and actually have the possibility to, um, you know, do some changes that were only in the control panel, like uh, configure an advanced internet IP setting, you can configure a static IP address or the preferred DNS server settings. Those were before in the control panel. And that's where everything was happening. So a lot of the, what, the things that happened were sending you to the control panel to change this. Now, some of these options are now in this setting and this page, including a network reset button within this page. So if you have things that you want to change, well, you'll be able to, of course, do all of the changes here yourself uh, rather than, um, you know, uh, do other types of changes in the control panel itself. The other thing about um, this, uh, the settings here, um, there's, of course, a few little things about File Explorer that First of all, the icon is changed because it in dark, in dark theme or dark mode was not super visible for a lot of people. Uh, they've tweaked a little bit of the settings of the dark mode file explorer so that everybody has a better way of viewing stuff. It's, uh, it wasn't that clear for some people and there's a lot of problems with the visibility, of course. So um, this is a few little things that are interesting. Another thing that's kind of cool that wasn't available before is when you start to make groups in 
um, the start menu. So you name a group somehow and you create a group with tiles before you had to um, remove the tiles. Now you can unpin a full group without having to um, you know, go to individual, individual tiles and remove them one by one. So these are a few little things like that that are kind of cool uh, in those settings. Windows will reserve seven gigabytes of disk space for updates. Uh, you know, we'll wait when all of this is done, but when you actually update that seven gigabytes of disk space for updates, what it will do is reserve important files so that it, it's actually faster for you to update when you have to do uh, some updates, of course. So there's a few things like that that uh, will be there. There's a way to remove it if you have a device that actually has very low disk space, you know, like a small tablet that has only 32 gigabytes. You might kind of, you know, say, hey, okay, it, um, it, it, it's not necessarily um, the best idea in the world to have seven gigabytes of taken off uh, a tablet or a device that has very little of uh, very little space. Another thing also in the file explorer by default when you go to your files uh, what will happen with the files is that you now will have the ability to see what's called simplified dates. So you see here this is simplified dates. Um, you have the month and the date and the year clearly displayed here because that's the way that it makes it easier. And by default, this is how everything is going to show up. So you won't have to, you know, because it, it was sometimes a little difficult to know what was exactly the date. Was it the date first in the month or the month and the, the date or uh, it wasn't that easy, especially when you're in a market like here in Canada where there's different languages and different way of showing up things. Now it's really the clear uh, information, the uh, easy way to see the dates and its default uh, within the file explorer, which is kind of nice. So that's a few little things that I wanted to show you in this um, build. So 18.358 was released yesterday, Friday, late afternoon. You can check it out seems to be very stable and we're getting closer and closer to what will be eventually the um, official RTM. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.